Hi everyone, my name is Elsa Sanchez and I'm an Adobe consultant here at the University of Arizona. And today we're going to talk about making minimalist avatars with Illustrator. And first off, we're going to select our width and our height. In this case, I'm just going to do 400 by 400 pixels. And we're going to select create. So now we're going to go to place and we're going to place our portrait image and we're gonna click and drag so that it fits within our artboard we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer and in this second layer we're gonna have all of our drawings and ellipses and shapes and first off we're gonna select the second layer and we're gonna select the ellipse tool and we're gonna try to outline the ellipse with the eyelashes properties we can decrease the stroke and we can make it transparent. We're going to select V or click on the selection tool and we're going to try to line it up. And we're going to do the same with the bottom part. Make sure you reselect your second layer. Okay, now that we have the shape of the eye, we're going to go ahead and do one last circle for the eye and this is going to outline the iris. Okay, and once we're done with the shape of our eye, we're gonna select one circle. We're gonna press shift and while pressing, we're gonna select all the other circles. And then we're gonna select the shape builder, shift M on your keyboard. And then we're gonna press option or alt. And this is gonna delete all the X's. And then we're going to deselect option and we're going to go ahead and create a shape of all of the eye pieces and that's one eye and we're going to do the same with the other one. Okay, so now that we're done with the eyes we're going to move on to the nose and with the nose we're going to use a different technique we're going to use the pencil tool and we're going to try to outline the nose as best as possible it doesn't have to be perfect because the pencil tool creates a vector shape once the shape is done and it can be manipulated So the nose and the eyes are done and we're going to move on to the mouth. So we're going to do the same, we're just going to outline with a pencil tool. So if we end up looking at a shape that doesn't look like the shape that we're trying to outline, we're going to go ahead and select the direct selection tool and we're going to double click on the anchors and we're going to try to make it fit. Okay, so now we're going to do the bottom part and we're going to select the pencil and what we're trying to do is to cross over with the other lip so that we can create a shape out of the bottom lip. Shape Builder tool and we have to select the top part as well. And now we can create a shape. So once we have done that, we can go ahead and select all the pieces that don't belong there. And since it's looking a little wonky, we're going to go ahead and select the direct selection tool. 
and we're gonna try to manipulate how it looks we're gonna outline the eyebrow and after that we're gonna outline the whole face with the ellipse tool doesn't have to be exact just make sure that it's just touching the chin and the outlines of the face we could go ahead and edit it later so that this is included and that the chin is more exact and once again we're gonna use the pencil tool and we're gonna outline the hair Now that we have our hair, we're going to select the circle once again and we're going to select the shape builder and we're going to combine both pieces so that it becomes one shape. We're going to use the pencil tool again to outline the face. And we're going to select the line and the ellipse, shape builder, and click and drag to make it all one shape. And we're going to do the same with the other side. Okay, once we're satisfied with how the face shape looks I'm gonna move on into the facial hair right here to see your process you can select the eye which is like the visibility of the layer and we're gonna deselect this one and this is what we have so far and since it is minimalist you don't want to add too much shading but um it helps with the overall look so we're gonna select the pencil tool again Once we're done, we're gonna clean it up. Same process with most of the features that we have implemented. And after we've selected all of them, we're gonna use the shape builder to make a shape out of all of them just so that coloring is easier we're gonna start filling in the shapes so we select one and we're gonna use the eyedropper to select the color of the skin the nose is going to be a little bit different. We're going to select a darker shade just so that there is contrast. And for this one, we're going to select kind of like the lighter part of the nose. Same with these pieces. Once we're done, it's gonna look something like this. We can go ahead and deselect the visibility. And so this is the face as a minimalist avatar. And that was it guys. 
For more information, visit adobe.arizona.edu and thank you so much for watching.